Hi students, coming to the next topic that is uh, uh, iterators in standard template library. So I already explained about the different components that are present in the standard template library. So one I, uh, I explained about containers and next algorithms, iterators and function objects. So these are the uh, four components that are present in the standard template library. We already discussed about the containers algorithms. Now let us see what are these iterators. So what are these iterators? Actually the iterators are used to or used to point at the memory address. So whatever the iterator that is used that points to the memory address of standard template library containers. So it points to the standard template library containers. They are primarily used, the iterators are primarily used in sequence of integers, characters, etc. So these iterators are used in the sequence of integers, characters, etc. So the main use of these iterators are to reduce, we use iterators because to reduce complexity and execution time of a program. Execution time of a program. So for this reason we are using the iterators. So the main use of iterator is to reduce complexity and execution time of a program. Let us see the syntax of the iterators. First you have to write the container name, uh, container type because it always points to the memory address of the STL containers. So container type and the parameter list. Scope resolution operator, iterator and you have to write the iterator name. So this is the syntax of this uh, iterators. So you have to write the container type uh, to where you have to point the memory address and the parameter list, scope resolution operator, iterator, iterator name. So let us see the program by using the iterators. Example. Hash include Ivo stream. We are in using the library function vector. So why we are using the vector? So vector is a, one of the example for the containers. So the, it is a sequence container. The main use of the iterator is to primarily used for the sequences of all the integers characters. So it always points to the STL containers. So that's why we are using this library function hash include vector using namespace std. So now writing the main program int main. Here I am declaring the vector container vector int scope resolution operator iterator i so it creates what it does it creates it creates an integer an iterator named i so it creates an iterator named i to a vector of integers. So this is a vector of integers. So here it creates an iterator named i to the vector of integers. So now I am writing a vector of strings. Uh, I created a vector iterator named i to a vector of integers. Now I am creating a vector string 
I am creating a vector string scope resolution operator iterator j so what it means so it creates an iterator what is the name of this iterator iterator named j to a vector of strings here in this program i'm explaining that i'm creating the vectors for characters and uh, integers and the strings so instead of vector and now i'm taking the list list is int iterator k so what it means it creates an iterator named k to a vector of integers so i am creating different iterators that are pointing to the characters strings and integers i can also use the map also means you can point to any of these uh, containers vectors list dq map like that int comma int so these are the different syntaxes for uh, you can call different containers the iterators will work on different containers what it represents it creates an iterator l to a map of integers so here the list of integers okay so this is the about the iterator now let us see different operations that are present on the iterators that can perform iterators operations on iterators in standard template library so let us see what are the different operations that are performed on iterators in standard template library so the the different operations or advance next distance next previous begin and so these are the different operations on iterators in standard template library so let us uh, see each operation what is it uh, advance will do and what is the distance next previous begin and with an examples so let me write so the first one is the advance so what this operation will do advance will increment it always increments the iterator i by the value so it increments the iterator i by the value of distance the value of distance you can take the value of distance if the value of distance is negative suppose whatever you get if the value of distance value of distance is negative then iterator will be decremented instead of incremented the iterator will be decremented so that is the operation of this uh, function advance so it will increment the iterator i by the value of distance so if the value of distance is negative then the iterator will be decremented the syntax for this is so syntax is just operation name advance iterator i comma int distance so the distance of that value you had right so this is a syntax advance iterator i into distance so let us see the program by using this function advance hash include i was stream 
hash include vector so if you are using the iterators you can go for the library function vector the vector contains all these operations int main now declare the vector int that is that the container type is the int type v of 10 so whenever it writes the v of 10 means it creates a vector of 10 zeros so whenever i declare vector int v of 10 means it creates a vector of 10 zeros now vector int type scope resolution operator you are calling the you are declaring iterator i so what it represents it defines iterator i to the vector of integers so previously i explained so about how to declare uh, how can you create an integer of type string uh, integer to a vector of strings to a vector of integers to a vector of uh, characters like that so here i am it defines the iterator i to the vector of integers now i is equal to v dot begin what it indicates v dot begin means now i now points to beginning of a vector so it points to the beginning of a vector now i am writing the operate function advance advance iterator i i declared i comma and the distance of that is 5 so this is the uh, operation i i used here so advance i comma 5 means here i now points to the fifth element so it points to the fifth element from the beginning of vector so from the beginning of vector it points to the fifth element so that is the meaning of this uh, that is the operation of this advance suppose if i return advance i comma minus 1 so whenever i said uh, in the definition i said if the value of the distance is negative the iterator will be decremented so how it will decrements so now this step indicates i now points to the fourth so instead of uh, fifth it points to the fourth element why because it is decremented i now points to the fourth element from the beginning of the from the beginning of vector okay so this is about the operation of the advance one of the operation of an iterators in standard template library advance so in the next video i'll explain about the, the another different operations that is a distance next previous begin and thank you